Hey guys, it's Mike here from Mark Stickers. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing today. I'm gonna do a trailer graphics decal uh, install. I guess maybe that was redundant. Doing, I'm, I'm installing graphics on the side of a trailer. Let me put it that way. So the way I made these decals is the exact same way that I make all my stickers. I'm using the same uh, substance vinyl and uh, laminate that I use for my stickers. It's a matte laminate on top of a glossy vinyl. And um, I know a lot of people might not laminate their graphics for the sides of vehicles and trailers and stuff, but I feel like it adds a, definitely adds an extra layer of durability or protection for it. And I think it's definitely worth it. This place that we're going to today, this place is called the uh, Veterans Liberty Ranch. They sell beef at wholesale prices, I guess. You can buy like a whole cow from them or however much you want and buy it at a really good price. So you, they basically, they're like a wholesaler. You have to buy it in quantity that you can get it at a really good price. So if you're in Texas, your destination will be on the right and you need some beef, it's a good source. Veterans Liberty Ranch. And I've done two trailers for them before. This will be the third trailer. They're right up here. Is that property over there with the trailers and the hay bales? <clears throat> I don't know if they're home right. Let's see if my gate code works. Head northwest, then you will arrive at your destination. You got some long horns. Okay. okay. Here come the dogs. to get out so I gotta manually shut the gate I think it'll shut by itself but I think it takes too long look at that big guy hey y'all hey what y'all remember me from last time
All right, so this is the trailer I needed to. I'm gonna put a big graphic right there. One here on the back. And over here on this side. You see the ones I already did for this one. So, should be cool. All right, guys, I'm going to show you all the basic stuff that I use whenever I do one of these installs. So, first of all, I start off with a alcohol and water mix. It's 70% alcohol by 30% water. And that's just a rough, you know, basically I do it just by eye. Then I have a soapy water solution. And that is not perfected yet. I think I used the wrong soap last time and that's been what's given me troubles. I'm by no means an expert on this. I've done it several times, but I'm trying to perfect the technique. And so far I've been having issues where it's not, the transfer tape isn't separating from the graphic clean, uh, easily enough whenever I apply it to the actual trailer. Um, so I put a different solution in there this time, a different type of soap and a different ratio. So I'm going to try that out and see how it works. I have extra, extra transfer tape just in case um, something goes wrong, I might need it. I have a pick. I have what they call a Posca marker. It can uh, You can ride on the trailer or the vehicle or whatever and then clean it off if you need to. You can do that for like a reference point if you need to know where to put the graphic. I have my scissors. I have a exacto knife and then a couple of squeegees i like to just have a couple just in case i don't know i've misplaced them and stuff i always keep a couple in the vehicle i have some extra stuff here but i don't always need the stuff that's here i have my step stool and then most importantly i have all my graphics that i need to install and i just keep those on my back seat until i'm ready i don't like to roll them up or anything uh because then it lets more air pockets into it so uh, i'm gonna show y'all how i do this and see how it goes this time i'm hoping it's smoother this time than it has been the last couple times i've done this like i said the last couple times i think i had the wrong type of soap in there and the wrong ratio Alright, so I have the first one installed on the passenger side of the trailer. And what I did different this time was before I just had, I think I had the wrong type of soap in there. I think my, my wife didn't have just normal Dawn di dish soap, so I think I probably used some sort of hand soap that had like a moisturizer in it, which made everything just want to slide off. So it gave me a little bit of trouble coming off from the transfer tape, but not nearly as much as before. So everything was much, much easier. Before I pretty much had to peel every letter almost off individually and just reset it, which is horrible. So I think it came out looking pretty good on this side. I still got to go around and do the other sides now. 
and come around to the back next. sides are done. a good successful install there I used a different uh, so what I did before that was making I made a mistake with was that I used I think some sort of a hand soap instead of a dish soap and I think that it had some sort of like a hand moisturizer in it and I probably also used too much soap in the bottle um, this time I literally put two drops of Dawn dish soap I used the Dawn that has the duck on the bottle. 
is the original Dawn. My wife said, I've got Dawn Platinum and I got the Dawn with the duck on it. That's the original. And I said, I want the Dawn with the duck on it. So that's the one to use. Oh, here's a cool, it's a cool old cemetery. Connell Family Cemetery at Bear Creek. This is a real small old cemetery. And those headstones look really old. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so I, um, like I said, use Dawn Dis Soap, just two drops, the rest of it water. And that's, that did the trick. That did the trick. They didn't, uh, all the letters didn't want to come sliding off like they have in the past. And um, the actual installation worked a lot better. It took about two and a half hours to put those on there. I could definitely get it done a little quicker. I was talking with the customer quite a bit. She likes to come and watch and talk to me while I'm doing it, which I don't mind, but it definitely slows it down a little bit. But I like to network with these people. She's gonna put a, she's gonna look out for a trailer for me. She's bought like four trailers within the last couple months. So I told her I, I need a little trailer for my son's boat son has a boat that we got and I need a little like five foot by eight or five foot by ten foot but a, a trailer a little open trailer so she's gonna help me look for that because she goes to a lot of auctions and um, so that's cool a little bit of networking help me out so that install went good and um, you know there's not really much else I guess to say at this point the um, at, at the beginning of the or in the I guess in the middle of the video there before I started installing the graphics I went over a list of things that I usually take with me and that I like to have and I forgot one crucial thing off the list because I didn't I didn't have it laying there in front of me so I didn't think about it when I was talking to y'all but um, I usually take some paper towels I usually take the blue shop towels that you can buy from auto parts stores. And um, I forgot to bring the roll that I usually bring, but luckily enough, I had an extra roll or a partial roll in the back of my truck. So I got lucky there and I had what I needed. Worst case scenario, I would have had to wait for the customer to get home so that I could just borrow something from her. But I didn't have to do that. She didn't get back home until about 30 minutes after I had started. So I already had one whole entire uh, side of the trailer finished up before she got there. So I didn't want to have to wait and I'm glad I didn't have to. So anyways, just make sure you got all the stuff that you need before you go out. Uh, would be good to make a list which I don't have yet but I should probably make a little list